Z is for zeitgeist. The spirit and mood of a particular period of history as defined by the ideas and beliefs of the time. Y is for yesterday. For in order to understand the beliefs and, and mood of the time, we must pause, gaze back on the road we have trodden, pray we do not become pillars of salt. X is how we sign our names now, as none of us wants to admit we had anything to do with how we got here. For the world that we were gifted grows weary of the waste we have laid upon her. When did we forsake the wisdom of living within our means for the worship of whatever is cheap and easy? We have been suffering from a vicious lack of vision as if we were living in a vacuum. We are vampires who have taken to tapping our own veins and we are in desperate need of a U-turn. For the times, they are a-changing at an exponential rate. We speak of S for sacrifice as if by simplifying our lives we have so much to lose. Yet we fail to R for realise just how much we have to lose. It's not a question of qualification. Shit, we put a man upon the moon. <laughs> Yet we are but blades of grass hanging out over the edge of a precipice, inching closer to the edge, oblivious that the soil in which we have trusted our roots grows ever thinner by the year. N is for my nana, who never wasted a single thing in her life. MLK for the glass milk bottles we used to put out at the gate. J is for jars of homemade jam, while I, I is for the irony that these days, quarrying the stone, grinding the sand, melting the glass, smelting the jar, cooking the jam, adding a flavouring 124 and preserving a 262, boxing, packing, wrapping, shipping containers across the sea, only to unwrap, unpack, unbox, restock supermarket shelves. Well, that seemed like a simpler option than just making a batch of jam. <laughs> My inner cynic says that H is for hopeless. We are already too late to the table. But my inner child is always looking for ways that she can help. So the only compromise that I can find is that H is for the humility and G is for the grace it takes to admit that we were wrong. So F is not for failure, but for forgiveness. We need to be kind to ourselves Litigation's promise is bittersweet and all the best futures are carved upon a clean slate. So let's E for evaluate, eliminate this dogma we have built. Let's stage a departure from this zeitgeist, from this culture of convenience, this cancer of consumption. We don't have another option. See, there is no planet B. And next time round, we're going to need straight A's. Kia ora.